welcome back to Sunday Sample. Um, although it's not Sunday, is it? It's Monday. But every day is Sunday at the moment right now, so don't worry about it. So what did I pull out? I got Aqua de Palma Carmelia. It's quite warm these days, so I feel like Aqua de Palma is probably quite a good one because they're pretty renowned for their like kind of spring summery kind of citruses, right? So, but I've, I've never heard of Carmelia, so let's give it a let's give it a crack. Sounds like perhaps one of their more feminine ones. Oof. Big citrus, as you might expect. Yeah, so it's a big citrus and floral. Um, I think I need to give that a minute. It's a bit spicy. <coughs> By spicy, I meant like sort of sharp. Not not spicy as in actual spice, by the way. Uh, so you might have guessed it's Monday morning, by the way. Really early Monday morning. Okay, I don't know. I'm that impressed by this opening, to be honest, so far. It's, it's a really nice um, zesty, lemony citrus uh, that's sort of backed by some sort of buttery florals. Uh, I'm not sure I'm that into the mix. I think like the the the, 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 the florals by themselves might be all right, and the citrus by itself I think would be really nice. Um, but I'm not sure I'm into the, the mix of the two, like the, the the sort of buttery floral that's in there. It's almost like a kind of cakey gourmandy floral um, with this kind of zesty, very tart lemony citrus um otherwise i feel like that's that's it it's really simple um just like for an open to wait to, to describe the opening it's really just a big burst of lemony like zesty rindy citrus so it definitely feels like um uh, uh, you, you, when you're making a cake or something you have to grate the lemon rind definitely smells like that it's got that kind of bitterness to the lemon, um, and on uh, up beneath that, just a really kind of slightly sort of cat's pee um, sort of buttery cat's piss citrus uh, floral underneath that. Uh, definitely get a sort of cat's pee vibe to it though. Um, which is not altogether pleasant uh, in this, the way that's sort of done in this. But that that's it, that's, that's really it. Um, so I will go and wear that for the rest of the day, um, sadly. It's it's not my favorite. It's a little bit old lady-ish. Mm. Like sort of like mixing like an old lady sort of floral with a very modern, bright, zesty citrus. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll wear it for the rest of the day and I'll I'll give you a better description later on. Cheers. Welcome back. So I've been wearing Camellia all day. Um, I say all day. I wore it for about four hours before it, it completely vanished and, and disappeared into nothing. So, you know, thank God for small mercies, I guess. Uh, it, it wasn't all that. It was pretty rubbish. Um, it was linear all the way. Um, that that the citrus was nice. I really like the citrus in it. But what I'm gonna say is, if you're after something that's like quite innocent, has like a citric and floral vibe, um, specifically a citric and rose sort of vibe, which is what this had. Uh, Pen Halligan's Luna um, does the same job, but much better. Um, that they're, they're actually quite close perfumes. That, that Luna has a pretty close note listing and even like sort of scent profile wise I would say it's pretty close um it's a little bit more of a traditional rose in this one whereas this one like a sort of traditional modern sort of bright rose whereas this one was a bit more of a, it's that camellia rose that kind of, so so it had like a, a bit of a difference but but realistically it was still like a kind of light pink rose um 
And yeah, I think Penhaligon's Luna does it a great deal better. It lasts longer, it's got more dynamic dry down. It, it, just everything better. So anyway, a bit more on that later. Back to Camellia. Camellia was rubbish. It started off with that citrus and old lady sort of rose floral vibe. And it didn't get any better. Um, the citrus was nice. It was really good. Actually, I did like that element. Um, but it only lasted about two hours. And then it, it was pretty much gone. Um, at which point it, it was just a kind of slightly musky, innocent floral, um, say that, that, that sort of camellia rose with jasmine. The cat's piss vibe um, disappeared quite quick. Um, I'd say like sort of 10, 15 minutes. So that doesn't really count against it for me. Like that was all right. I didn't like it, but it, it didn't hang around. So it was fine. Um, but yeah, otherwise it just sort of turned into a slightly boring musky sort of floral with a kind of hint of citrus somewhere in the distant past. Um, and then about say four, maybe if I was being generous, five hours tops and it was gone. So, I mean, I sprayed it, what time is it now? Um, I, don't, I don't know, it's gotta be like eight or nine hours ago now, um, and at least, and, it, and it, it's literally gone, I can't, can't I can't pick anything up on my skin at all. Um, so yeah, it, it just doesn't last. Um, so about four or five hours in and, and, it, and it was gone already. Um, so yeah, that's all there is really to say about that. Aqua de Palma Camellia, not all that good. Say, um, the citruses were nice, um, but the rest of it, just not really. Say, Luna is a much better prospect um, if that's what you're after. So. The note listings are really similar. They've both got quite a lot of citrus on top. Then they're both, you know, I would call both of them like a citric floral um, or a citrus floral. Um, they've both got citrus. They've both got jasmine in the heart. They've both got a, a kind of pink rose in the heart. Say like Camellia had a bit more of a traditional old lady sort of rose. This one's a bit more kind of, it's still a traditional kind of pink bright rose, but it's more modern. Um, but definitely like clean rose. Um, and this one has a much more interesting sort of base notes with like ambergris and stuff like that. And it does have more of an interesting dry, dry down. Definitely it gets sort of slightly woodier in the dry down, a little bit more just dynamic all round in the dry down. Um, and it lasts much better. I actually, this was a bit of a surprise for me. Um, I, I got it free from Penhaligon's. Um, on like the, they, they had some like um, at the start of the lockdown and that they had like a bit of an offer where it was like you know you can get this for free um, just because we want to do something good sort of thing just to cheer people up um, and I think they gave them away to like the first couple of hundred people that went for it and um, Smurfy Girlie actually put me in on it on Instagram and um, I jumped on it and, and got a bottle and, and, and I I really like this. Um, I, I was dead surprised by it. I think it's actually a really nice, say, citrus floral. Um, it's not often that I want to wear it, but um, it, it sort of, you know, it, it's it's just the spot when I, you know, it scratches my itch when I when I when I have that itch that needs scratching. I guess. But yeah, no, it is a nice fragrance, um, and um, it's say very much in the ballpark of Camellia but just much better. So say, if you thought like this might be quite nice um, um, and was hoping it might be quite nice, don't bother, have a look at this instead. Um, say they've both got notes on the top of like big kind of like lemon, bergamot, mandarin. Um, I think this one's got mandarin, orange, and this one, I think it said something about orange rinds, um, but basically they're both like really sort of citrus across the board with like the three big hitters. Um, um, and then in the heart, they've both got say jasmine and a pink-ish rose. Um, and then whereas this one, I think pretty much just had like musk and maybe something else in the base. I'm not sure. Uh, this this has got sort of like amber green musk stuff like that, and it's just a bit woodier in the dry down, um, but much better. And I, I really rate this. Say it was a bit of a surprise, um, but I do rate it. I I, I liked it. It's not say like. It, it's very innocent, very clean, um, but very fresh and sort of lively. 
and for this time of year, really nice. Um, and honestly, like, say, it's not saying I wear a lot, but occasionally I just think, oh, get, you know, it's like bright fruit, like fruit citrus uh, kind of floral vibe, yeah. And then, and then I wear this and it always sort of makes me feel like, yeah, no, I, I, I like that. So yeah, I would go with this. Um, if you're looking for something, you know, if, if, you did, if you're here because you're looking up Aqua de Palma Camellia because you think you might like it, I really wouldn't bother. It's, it's not worth the money. It's boring. Um, it has like, it's very linear has no longevity, has no projection. The projection that it does has is unwelcome um, because it's just not very nice. It smells a bit too old lady-ish. Um, the citruses, I will say, I'll give it credit for that. It, it does, did citruses really well. Um, but it's not enough, you know, like they disappear too fast and they're just not enough of the fragrance. The, the camellia is more of the fragrance than the citruses. And the camellia is, is you know, that, that pink rose is, is not very attractive. Um, so so I, I would definitely have a look at this if you're you're here because you, you thought like you, you wanted to see a review on this. So I would definitely have a look at this instead. Um, much better fragrance um, and very similar ballparks. Um, the only difference being this smells way more modern than this. Um, so yeah, that's about that really. Um, Thanks very much for watching. It's been a while since I've done a Sunday sample, but it's nice. I really like doing them. Um, it's just whether or not I get, and it's, it's, it's planning to have the time in the morning and the afternoon to sit down and record a little bit. Um, so yeah, I'll try and do a bit more because I do enjoy them. They're like my favorite videos, just picking a random sample and, and going for it. So um, yeah, I'll try and do a bit more. But anyway, um, Aquita Palma Camellia, don't bother. Pen Halligan's Luna? Yeah, maybe bother if it's your cup of tea, really. Um, I I say I, I do think it's it's really nice. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Um, I like subscribe if you like. Um, and if you don't, don't. Nice one. Thanks very much. Cheers.